Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be rounding up all of my looks that I wore at New York Fashion Week. I didn't get to post like and photograph every single one of them. I wanted to kind of round them up from Instagram and take you guys through every outfit that I wore. I might give you some outfit ideas, some fall outfit inspiration, and I can link everything for you guys down below. And I'm just gathering it up all in one place. I actually thought I might start doing this on a weekly basis, like round rounding up my Instagram outfits because I'm not sure if all of you guys follow me over there but I thought it'd be kind of fun to like round them up each week and then you guys could just like shop them if you want to or it can give some outfit inspo every single week in like video format so let me know if you'd be interested in that um, but for today I'm going to be showing you everything that I wore in New York so let's hop into the first look okay so my first look right when I arrived I kind of wanted to like ease into the outfit so I wore something a little bit more comfortable love this white skirt from Princess Polly it was in my Princess Polly haul but very flirty and fun and then I paired it with a black sweater from H&M this one's kind of old, but I'll try and link it below if I can find it or something similar. But I love a skirt and sweater combination this season. I feel like it's super cool and a lot of people are wearing sweaters with skirts. So it's a really great way to kind of transition into fall. And then lastly, I paired it with my new snakeskin booties from PLT. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They look just like the Chloe booties and they're super affordable and just so cute in like such a statement. So I'm obsessed with them. I think they look perfect with the skirt it's like the best combination so you can really let the shoes like shine and you can see the booty so I love love this it's a very comfortable outfit great to walk around in and super cute okay my next look I wore for my first night out uh, to the Lulu's event and it was super cute and I actually wore a pair of hunters shorts they're from H&M but they're kind of like look like the biker short trend or like the oversized men's shorts trend which they literally are men's shorts so really cute linen beige color I wore those with the um, with that one shoulder crop top from pretty little thing it's really really simple almost just like a bralette really cute and um, nice and comfy and then threw my boyfriend blazer over that from PLT and I feel like it balanced it out really nicely because the bralette was kind of revealing and then you just cover up with the shoes I wore my boohoo wrap sandals you guys these are literally like $25 on Boohoo and they're so cute. They kind of look like the ones from Revolve um, from Ray the Label, not the price tag of the Revolve pair. So they're really cute kind of dupe in my mind and they're a nice like suede material. Anyway, so I love this look so much. Great kind of party look. This one's super edgy. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but I thought it was super rad. I like it and it's just a little bit different than things I normally wear and it's fashion week. So had to go a little bit out of the box. Okay, moving on to look number two. I rocked this super cool um, like black suit set from PLT. It's just a black, so very simple. This is great if you just love the suit trend or you work in an office and you need some suit separates. They actually are sold separately, but I paired them together as a suit because that's super on trend right now and I love it. So just plain black and, and then to spice it up a little bit, I threw a snakeskin bralette underneath. I felt like it added just a little bit of something because it was so like solid black and really just gave the look like a cool different type of trendy vibe. You guys have seen this fanny pack before, but it's from Forever 21 and it's very fallish vibes with kind of like the um, fur material on it. It's like black and beige and I wore it over the shoulder because I feel like that's a really cool way to wear fanny packs right now. It's just a little bit different and edgier and I love it. It's really convenient because you can like go hands free, which is amazing. And lastly, I paired it with some like oversized chunky sneakers. These ones are from Windsor. They're really affordable and really cute. And I like how they have a little black detail on them. So they kind of tie in with a lot of like fall colors and a lot of like darker um, type of vibes. I love this look so much. Very practical, but very on trend. Okay, moving on to my next look. The star of this look are my new obsession, which are these snakeskin pants. I'm in love with them. They're from Windsor and they kind of have a zipper up the center, but they're so comfortable, you guys. Like, 
I was not expecting these pants to be comfy. I was like, oh, they're gonna be like tight and restricting, but they're really, really comfortable, really cute. I have them in a size small. And with this, I paired them with a pair of white booties from Zara. I love these. And I know there's some way more affordable versions of these on like PLT and Misguided. So I'm gonna link those below as well, just so you know. Um, but I love a white booty for fall. I think it's like a really cool pop. And with the snakeskin combo, it's so cute. And then on top, I just wore this Zara sweater. That's really cute. Just a simple beige color. And then over that was my denim jacket. But I thought the denim was like a nice twist on this just because everything was kind of loud and the denim was just a cool mixture. All right, this next look I also wore to my second night out at another event and I also didn't get to photograph this look, but really, really cute. I wore my black denim skirt from H&M. I'm obsessed with this denim skirt fits so well and it's kind of nice and longer it's like not super short so it's really wearable and you don't feel like you're falling out of it or it's gonna like ride up it's just the most perfect denim skirt ever so i wore that with this really cute silk lacy tank from forever 21 and I just tucked it in. I love like silk camis. I think they're so gorgeous and look really cool against like denim or leather. It's like mixing the feminine and the masculine and I love the combination. So I mixed those together and then threw on this really pretty white blazer from H&M, like an oversized boyfriend style. I, again, I feel like it kind of covers you up because the top is a little bit more feminine and girly and the contrast looks really cool. And then for my bag, I put on my clear fanny pack from Zara. If you guys saw, saw Hunter and I's outfit challenge, um, he actually picked out the fanny pack, so good job, Hunter. Um, and I wore that with this outfit and then my clear transparent heels from Windsor. It was just so me, I felt very comfortable, but it looked really, really cute and kind of all pulled together. So I loved this look so much. And we actually stayed out kind of late and I was really comfortable, the shoes are, really comfortable like they never hurt my feet all right moving on to my next look was this amazing denim jumpsuit from pretty little thing and like loose and oversized a little bit so it's not very snug which i like it made it really really comfortable i wore it all day and it's honestly like wearing pajamas it's so cute um and then underneath that i just put it's a white turtleneck but i really liked the layering underneath if you're in colder weather right now this is like the perfect combination and it was really cold in new york that day so this was really really cute together and then just to really cinch it in at the waist i used this belt that i got from windsor it's like a leopard print i love animal print right now and it really just kind of like tied everything together and gave it like a little interest in something and it just cinched in the waist and it made everything like tie together so i loved this um also for shoes the shoes are from windsor as well they're kind of like that clear transparent vibe that is very trendy right now which i love and i feel like the sandal dresses the look up a little bit because so I did have boots on with it previously and I kind of felt like a jailmate <laughs> to be honest so the heel I switched into the heel and it made it feel more girly and a little bit more elevated and lastly just wore some really big chunky oversized hoops also from Windsor and like threw my hair up in a pony because it was kind of greasy but I like the hair up so you can like see the turtleneck and you can see the neck and like all the details it was just a really really cute look Okay, you guys, those are all my looks from New York. I hope that was helpful. I wanted to kind of round them up for you guys and maybe give you some fall transitional outfit ideas um, for yourselves, for things that you can wear. So hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video in a couple of days. Love you. Bye.